In this video, we will be looking at synthetic division. In this first video, I'll give a step-by-step -step process that you need to follow. Synthetic division is a shortcut for performing long division. And you can do synthetic division when you're taking a polynomial divided by a first degree binomial of the form x minus k. So in other words, uh, the divisor, this right here, needs to be first degree. In other words, the x has to be to the first power. And the coefficient of that x variable must be a 1. OK, so the example that we're going to be looking at is 3x cubed minus 7x plus 2 divided by x minus 2. Our first step is to arrange the terms of the dividend in descending powers of the variable. Now, this uh, problem is already arranged that way, but if you needed to, in other words, if they were all mixed up, you would want to put your highest power first, and then your next highest, and so forth, all the way down to your constant term. Your next step is to Notice if you have any x terms that are missing. If a power of x is missing, a term with that power and a zero coefficient must be inserted to hold the place. So in other words, in our problem, since we're missing the x squared term, we have to put zero x squared in that position to hold the place. Our next step for the synthetic division, we want to write only the coefficients of the dividend. So we're going to leave out this x cubed, leave out the x squared, and leave out the x. So we're going to just write 3, and then 0, and then negative 7, and then 2. Then write the number k to the left on the same row. So in our problem, the divisor is x minus 2. So k has the value 2 in this example. And so we would put a 2 out to the left of the coefficients of our dividend. Okay. Um, then to start, we want to bring down this first number. So bring down the lead coefficient to get started. Then the process that we're going to follow is we're going to multiply that number that we just brought down by k. We're going to multiply those two numbers together. And then we're going to write that product in this space below the second term in the dividend. Okay. So 2 times 3, we multiply there, write that product in this spot, and then add these numbers. So 0 added to a positive 6 gives me 6. Okay. Our next step, we're going to repeat that process. So this time, the 6 that we got when we added up here. This 6, we're going to multiply that by the 2 that's out here. And then that answer, we're going to write right in this spot. Then when we add, negative 7 added to 12 gives me 5. Now we're going to take that 5 and multiply it by the 2. It's 5 multiplied by 2 gives me 10. Write it in this spot right here. And then add these two numbers together. Gives me 12. Now the 12, which is the last number in the problem, is our remainder. Usually you'll see that boxed in. The quotient, which is the answer to the division problem, since my original problem was 
x to the third power. Let me go back up here and show you that. My original problem was 3x cubed, so the original dividend was a third degree polynomial. My quotient will be a second degree, so this is always one less on the exponents. And so I write my 3, and then x squared, and then plus, and then the 6 times x, because you just keep going down on the exponents, and then 5 is my constant, and then plus 12 over the divisor, which remember was x minus 2. So one thing to remember then also is that your answer, your quotient, is one degree less than the degree of the dividend. All right, let's do this example. We're asked to use synthetic division to divide 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. Notice that we're not missing any terms here. All of these exponents decrease by 1 all the way down until we have our constant term. So I'm just going to write these coefficients. I have 2, and then my next one is negative 3, and then 4, and then negative 1. And then out here to the left of those, I'm going to write my k value. Now remember k, this can be rewritten as x subtract a negative 1. So my k value is negative 1. Negative 1 is what goes in this little box here. Okay, So you might just want to remember that whatever sign you see here on the divisor, you're going to change that sign. All right. We start by bringing down our first number. So the 2 is brought down. Then we're going to multiply 2 times negative 1 gives me negative 2. And then I'm going to add these numbers. So negative 3 added to negative 2 is negative 5. Then I'm going to multiply again. Negative 5 times negative 1 is a positive 5. Then add these numbers, 9. Multiply, negative 9. Add, negative 10. And this is my remainder. So my original problem was a third degree polynomial. So that means this one is going to be a second degree. And I have 2x squared subtract 5x plus 9. And then I have a remainder of negative 10, which I need to show as 10 over the divisor of x plus 1. And this is my quotient. All right. My next example, I'm asked to express this function, 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 16x plus 10. I need to express that in this form. Now notice what they're doing here, the x minus k, that's that divisor that we originally had in our previous example. So x minus k, and then the q of x stands for the quotient, and then this time just add the remainder on the end. So we're asked to express this function in this format for the given value of k. So k is equal to negative 4. Now when we do synthetic division, remember in the little box, we put the value of k. Let me come back to this original example we did here. This was x minus k, but we said that k was negative 1. So this showed us k is negative 1. And so in the little box, 
out here in front, we put negative 1. So in our problem here, we're given k as negative 4. So I'm going to write negative 4 in that um, little box. And then out to the right here, I'm going to put my coefficients. I have a third degree, second degree, first degree, and then my constant. So I'm not missing any terms here. I can just go ahead and list my coefficients. 2, 3, negative 16, and 10. Let's do our synthetic division. Bring down our number, 2, multiply, write it, add, multiply, write it, add, multiply, write it, and add. So now our answer here, our quotient, q of x, is going to be 2. And then since it was a third degree polynomial that I started with, this is going to be second degree. So 2x to the second minus 5x plus 4. So that's my quotient. My remainder is negative 6. That's this number back here in the box. So if we're going to do what our problem asks us to do, it says to express our function in the form, okay, so f of x, so we're going to write 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 16x plus 10. That's my f of x. And that equals x minus k, which was negative 4, times q of x. q of x we know is this answer we got, 2x squared minus 5x plus 4, and then plus r, so plus negative 6. I'm just going to uh, clean that up just a little bit. So we have x plus 4 times 2x squared minus 5x plus 4 and then minus 6. So my function can be expressed this way.